So this is my new studio. Here you have it. Full of my favourite toys. It's a mixture of analogue and digital. Centerpiece is my custom built console. It sounds wonderful. And so with a mixture of that and the computer, you can really mix the best of both worlds. I've always had a real taste for the old analogue gear. So when we did our first record, Who Can You Trust, that was done on a Mackie desk with um, ADAP machines. Through here, here's a sliding door. How James Bond is that? Here we have the live room, the wow factor. So in there you have ultra modern, and in here you have Abbey Road meets Muscle Shoals, meets Stax, meets Motown, meets, you know, all my favorite places rolled into one. Basically a time warp back to the sort of 60s. This guitar, apparently, belonged to Dave Davis of the Kinks. It's my favorite electric guitar. And it sounds very good. And then over here in keyboard corner, the ARP 2600, the kind of Stevie Wonder synthesizer, and my favorite synthesizer actually, Fender Rhodes piano, which used to belong to the professor, Bruce Springsteen's keyboard player. So that is very possibly the Fender Rhodes from Born to Run. This is the snare pew. You know, a lot of people use pews to worship. I use them to store snare drums. Back into the control room, where this is my magic island of all my favorite outboard gear. And one of the toys that's really getting me excited at the moment is this new Arturia drum brute. It sounds really authentic, fat and vintage. Incredible. Almost sounds like an acoustic kick drum. It really, really sounds very natural. Lovely. Send the clap. And then, you know, we need to start adding the filter. Great stuff. I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's got separate outs. It does all this incredible polyrhythmic stuff. You've got two kicks. There's 16, 17 different sounds. I'm driving it hard through lots of compression and distortion boxes, valve EQs, you know, really cranking it and crunching it. And it sounds amazing. I've tracked what I've done and started to embellish it with some hip hop sounds. So I'd really like to play you kind of what I've been up to. Here's where I started. The drum brute has a fantastic feel and a great swing to it. I'm trying to get like a hip hop sound. I'm working at slower tempos. So I need that decay. I need to fill that space. I want to feel it in my chest. I want to feel it in my gut. Bass drum one. I've got that sounding long and fat, but that can also be very snappy. Incredible. Kick drum two. It's huge. Lots and lots of sweet spot there. Oh. And then you've got this beautiful, bright, snappy little snare. Again, for slower tempos, you've got the decay. Great, perfect for me. Love the maracas. Doesn't get much more classic than that. I've worked here on what I imagine the Bomb Squad or Public Enemy. You know, this is very late 1980s, early 1990s hip hop groove. This is all drum brute so far, and it's already really cooking. That feels fantastic. If I could have had that sound as a kid, I'd have been happy as Larry. For an analog drum machine, it's pretty rare to have decent cymbals, but a reverse cymbal, and that's like really far out. I love reverse cymbals, which is great. So then I've got some crashes come in. Got the regular crash, with an almost infinite decay. Go make yourself a cup of coffee. Come back, still decaying. So I've got some nice ghost notes. You've got the accents on the back beats. And then you've got this great sort of dub sound zap, you know, which I've put through a delay. I stuck in some stabs, some hits, some shouts. And you've immediately got golden era hip hop. This is my public enemy track. Yes, it 
lends itself to hip hop very well. I could just hear Chuck D or somebody rapping on that. The closed hat is lovely. Open hat as well, I actually use that as a closed hat, very nice. And then you've got Tom's or Congas, again. Lovely resonance on those. Wonderful. Tambourine's nice as well. But the zap can either be like, you know, a kind of disco, or it can be like wild, wild kind of Simmons Tom thing happening. And then, It's a great box.